should have their head up high that we sent these seniors off the way they deserve to be sent off. Honestly, if I ever had that opportunity and uh, I really put it in God's hands, I know if someone had gave me the opportunity, I would be one of the best safeties that ever played the game of football. Uh, but as of right now, it's just not in God's plan. I had 12 scholarship offers, 11 of them rejected their offers after they found out that I tore my ACL. And it was only one team that left the offer on the table, and that was Clemson. And my recruiter, he told me, hey man, listen, we want you. Even if you tear your other ACL, we want you. So that meant a lot to me. I committed to Clemson January 15th of my senior year. For one thing, my high school coach, he was my offensive coordinator, really, really close to, sat me down in the locker room and said, man, you're gonna be big time. And the one thing I want you to remember, you have to remain being humble. I'll be honest with you, the last two, three years, rough. As a football player, I played football since I was six years old. It's never been a time in my life when someone told me I wasn't capable of being one of the players on the field. You know, from sixth grade all the way up until my last snap I took at Clemson. And for the first time in my life, I had someone tell me, basically, you're not good enough to be on my team. It was a Wednesday night. Um, I told myself, I said, you know, if, if I don't have a call, if I don't have a text on my phone saying something about, you know, you have a tryout with a team or this team is interested, then I was going to start making that transition away from playing football. And sure enough, my phone was blank and I cried like a baby. Right then and there, I got on my knees and just prayed. I just asked God, you know, I was done trying to direct my path. That day uh, changed my life. I get a text saying like, hey, uh, with the uh, South Carolina Football Hall of Fame Business Connect program, I think I got something that you may like. Hey, how you doing? Hey, nice to see you too. Huh? All right, sounds good. I asked her what it was, she said Into Publishing. I said, what is Into Publishing? What's a, a publishing company? And I was like, you want me to go from playing football to working with a piece of paper? Yeah, not gonna happen. Well, something just stayed on my heart. I actually did the research on it. I sat there, learned a lot about Into. Um, and honestly, the, the biggest thing that came on my heart was I had an opportunity as a 24-year-old kid to own a franchise. I went there and I just, from there, I just put my head down forward and said I was gonna be successful. And uh, honestly, failure was not an option for me at all. But I remember that my first sales actually came. That feeling when I did that was the most amazing feeling. It was almost like getting that interception for the first time in college. Man, did I really just do that? And then the crazy thing is, the next one came, the next one came, and the next one came. And I was like, man, who would have, who would have thought? I credit it to the people around me. I credit it to uh, Clemson University. I credit it first and foremost to God and my family. Between uh, South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, Clemson, I never lost that support system ever. 
Mainly I can just tell any athlete that's out there that's kind of going through that transition phase to just know that God created you for a certain reason and you have to just follow that path. You are more than just an athlete. I'm really doing this, you know. I'm really making that leap of faith. I'm attacking the world and I'm going to do everything and be everything that everyone said I couldn't be.